It's a Sunday afternoon and Kayla and I have come for a drive in our local area to do a cooking vid this afternoon. We've come down under the Wilson River to a nice little spot. We know you drive down this cool little four-wheel drive track and come out on the river. Uh, and then you can sort of drive through the river and up along to various spots along the river, go for a swim and get a fire going. It should be awesome. Now we have Kayla and Kayla's dog, Roxy. Roxy! Okay. So we're going to head down this track now, make our way through, a bit of uh, low range driving, hit the river and then we'll uh, set up our spot down there. It should be a nice afternoon. It's uh, winter, it's August at the moment, it's so sunny, it feels like uh, spring at the moment, just these beautiful warm sunny days. nice sunny spot here now I'm already hot and sweaty from running the camera around just filming that bit coming in so first thing is gonna have a swim and then we're gonna start getting our uh, set up here organized <laughs> <Swimming. laughs> tonight we're just gonna cook some spaghetti bolognese and garlic bread on the fire and we brought Roxy along to join us tonight Gonna sit and have a cold one like where I, while I do all the work like usual. It's probably best for everyone if she doesn't do any wood chopping after last video's effort. After you nearly chopped your foot off last time. Kay and I were just having a conversation about filming because I get people offer to film for me sometimes. And she said, if someone said I'll come and do all the filming for you, would you say yes? And I said, I would say no. <laughs> so back to wood chopping. <laughs> no, so there's a few different reasons why I prefer to film myself. One is I love like just doing the whole thing myself and the sense of achievement, I guess, um, of filming a whole video doing it all myself number two um, I didn't have any experience when I started this but like I've learned as I go and I guess have my own style now and what I want to do and the shots in my head and how to make I know how to s set up the shots when I'm out here filming now I'm thinking about the editing process um, so I'm thinking about the shots I need scene to scene and how it's all going to come together in the editing process um, so, you know, I, I know all the shots I want, all the shots I need, and I just, it wouldn't feel right having someone else do it for me. So I guess they're the main couple of reasons, and like, I, I love filming, like, uh, you know, getting all the shots, running around, sometimes it is hard work, but at the end of the day, I love doing it. But, I, you know what I mean, like, I just reckon if someone else is doing it for me, I'd be just like, nah, that's wrong. Not that necessarily, like, they're any better or worse, but it just wouldn't be what I'd want. Well, I guess fire guys cooling down a little bit um, and we will cook, we'll do the usual, we're going to cook a little bit on the fire and some on the gas cooker. I think this will also be the last time I'll be using this cheap $20 Bunnings fire because I'm going to be getting a proper good one um, off drift the next week. Alright, fire's gone. Tonight we're doing my version of spaghetti bolognese, so vegetarian bolognese with pasta and we're going to make some garlic bread as well on the fire and I'll get all the ingredients out now. Some spelt pasta, 
You can use whatever pasta you want. Capers, my favourite. Lentils, tin tomatoes. Two types of pasta sauce. Yeah, well, you can choose whichever one you want. Two types of pasta sauce. You can choose whatever one you want. Which pasta sauce would you like tonight? Tomato, garlic and basil. Olives, olive oil, standard. Onion, and then for our garlic bread, we're just gonna make our own, we've never done this before, but we're just winging it for, for the vlog. We've just got Turkish bread, Italian herbs, and garlic, and maybe just some like butter and parmesan, and then chuck it on the fire. Then from the fridge, we've got mushrooms, butter for the garlic bread, fake vegetarian mint. We only, I only put it in because it like makes it feel like it's real spaghetti bolognese. Like if you're vegetarian and you still want that like meaty feel. But I probably wouldn't like recommend this all the time. I mean, you can just do it with lentils and it's just as good. I don't know, it's actually like, it's not that good for you. So I wouldn't eat this all the time. So we've got all our ingredients out. I'm gonna start by cutting up the mushrooms and the onion and get everything ready for the bolognese. Step one, chop up the onion and the mushrooms. So just chuck that in the pan when it's done. I've chopped up the onion and the mushroom. I'm just gonna saute that off in the pan for like five minutes until the onion's soft and the mushrooms are soft too. Uh, the thing with spaghetti bolognese is you can, it's kind of good for kids and stuff because you can hide heaps of veggies in it and it all tastes the same. Like you can grate up carrot, zucchini, capsicum, mushrooms, lentils even even if you're having one with real mint put lentils in it and you can't even taste it and that way everyone gets their veggies in i'm just going to put the mints in now so i mean i guess the majority of you won't be using this mint but just treat it like regular mints and chuck it in after you've sauteed the onion and the mushroom off so for meat version of this you do exactly the same except in this step you put normal mints instead of this crap <laughs> is that right? Yeah. yeah. That looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but like, on its own it tastes like crap. But once you put it in, like, oh, it kind of has like, mm, not a flavour. Once you put it in with everything, it has like the feel, like the texture of mints. I think that's yeah. what it's all about. Bin bag. Not really selling the alternative meats. No, that's right. We're not salesmen for them. I'm just going to chuck the olives in now. Lentils. Chuck the capers straight in. So just like maybe like a third of the, well it depends how much you like capers. I really do like capers. And then the pasta sauce. Depends how like tomato-y you like your bolognese. You can do just pasta sauce or just tin tomatoes or both. We like ours really tomato-y. So I'll probably chuck the tin tomatoes in too. And then just mix that all in. See, and it looks like regular bolognese. You'd never know. Yum. And then you just let that simmer. Add salt at the end. We're gonna do the pasta now in the billy on the fire. It's always really good camping, even though we're not camping tonight, but like we imagine if we were camping, we always try and find like a river or a stream or something, just cause it's so good having fresh water right next to us. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're gonna need to probably get your feet wet. Roxy, do it. Is it cold? Yes. Ooh. Ah. I hate camping next to a river. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't fit. Okay. You let the water boil first and then you chuck the pasta. So while we're waiting for the water to boil and the bolognese is just simmering, we'll get our garlic bread ready. So as I said... You just chuck your rubbish on the ground. Yeah. Chuck it on the ground. Whatever. Jakes! Dispose of your rubbish thoughtfully. 
give it to Tyler. Yeah, like I said, we haven't done this garlic bread before, so this is a trial. So if it doesn't work, we're not putting another vlog. <laughs> normally at home when we do this, we have a oven with normal garlic bread, but we don't have that today. Normally we'd have a bread knife. Mm -hmm. Chop up the bread however you like. So I've just cut it into quarters and then I'm just slicing through the middle. I've made garlic bread like this before, kinda. Oh, this is a huge clove of garlic. So what I was gonna say is I just chop the end off and then you just like rub that against the bread. Or you could like chop up this, mince it up and chuck it on the bread. But I don't know if that'll be too chunky. We could grate it. Okay. We are now grating the garlic. Look at the camera when you're talking. We are now grating the garlic. Because Kayla's idea was silly. <laughs> <laughs> Does this garlic get rubbed on? Is that yep. the first step? Rub the garlic on. And so Tyler's put all the garlic on. And we're just going to put butter on the bread now. As you can see, we're not shy with the butter. A minute on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. Um, after I put the butter on, put the Itali Italian herbs on. Or whatever herbs you want. I just chose Italian because we're doing spaghetti bolognese and that's Italian. Culturally appropriate. So how we when how we're doing this? Just are we gonna like just chuck it on the on the grill you reckon? Do you reckon? I don't know. I don't think that far ahead. I don't know how we're gonna cook them. Well, we can cook them in the frying pan or on the fire. I assume like on the little grill plate on the fire. So now I'm just putting some Parmesan cheese. Um, to be honest, Parmesan cheese probably wouldn't have been my cheese of preference for this. What cheese would you want? I just would have got normal cheese. I have normal cheese. I, I got the Parmesan to put on top of the three at the end. I didn't know you wanted cheese for the bread. You never told me that in the ingredient list. It's too late now. Come this, we've come this far. Let's just do it. Parmesan cheese just tastes better anyway. I just saw it, the melting factors. Garlic bread. Such a nice spot out here on the river. We were originally going to go to the beach this afternoon. It was a bit windy. It's a bit hard to film these videos in the wind you got things blowing everywhere and that's hard with the sound because it's all muffled by the wind but came out this river and it's just beautiful out here so quiet and peaceful quiet and peaceful <laughs> so i'm just gonna chuck the pasta in the pot now to boil and cook uh tonight we have gone for spiral shaped pasta you can use whatever shaped pasta you like it's all the same put the pasta in the pot once the water is boiled. Once the water is boiled. You will know it's boiling because it bubbles. Stir it with whatever utensil you have. Put the lid back on that doesn't fit the billy. I don't actually reckon you even need the lid on because it's going to boil over everywhere otherwise. Don't put the lid on. It boils <laughs> over everywhere. After about eight minutes or so, just check on your pasta. So, <laughs> so just throw a bit on the ground. Strain your pasta into the sieve thing. Ready to plate up now. So just chuck your pasta in the bowl. We had to relocate because it's getting dark, so we had to go under the light. Have you been sponsored by Herbamere yet? After your last call out? And then just chuck your bolognese mixture on top. Give Tyler heaps because he never stops eating. And then chuck the parmesan cheese on top. We're going to go eat dinner over by the fire because it's going to go cold and we're going to attempt to do this garlic bread. So if it fails, <laughs> we're going gonna to it. attempt to cook it while we eat our dinner and then our garlic bread will be dessert Ow. 
Thank you for dinner. That's okay. Looks delicious. And the bed's on fire. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Fire bread. We need the flames to go down a bit. Mm. Maybe just don't do the garlic bread idea. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just forget that. You could buy the garlic bread that you buy in coals that's already wrapped in foil and just chuck it in the fire. Oh uh, yeah, we should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> that would work so good. There we go. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. We're just trying to show off. Yeah, we're trying to be fancy. Two, two episodes into cooking with Kayla and we've just already like... <coughs> lost, no, I've let the fame uh, go to my head. Lost the plot. Mm. No, I still hold hope that these could still be good. Cooking of Kayla is like Big Brother. Eventually everyone just forgets about it. Because <laughs> he took it too far. Yeah. Oh, that looks yummy. Nice and black on the bottom. Oh, and now it's on top. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a, what a success. How is this ever going to work? I said, Tyler, that's dumb, let's not do this. And he said, you're doing it. <laughs> so once, once your garlic bread is black on the bottom and all the cheese has melted into the fire. And it caught on fire. Then you know it's ready to eat. Here goes the garlic bread. Is that the black? That's the black one, isn't it? No. Yeah. How's it taste? Terrible. <laughs> it smells really good, but like you heat garlic up and everything smells good. Um, well, my first initial thought was burnt, and the garlic on top is really spicy. Mm. Tastes like crap. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> cool. So. No, that's not that bad, but this is what cooking with Taylor is all about. You live and you learn. Don't do this. Just buy garlic bread. In alfoil and then put it in the fire. Put it in the fire. <laughs>such a nice night out here it's gone really still and peaceful the stars are coming out the moon's up fire is nice and warm now if you guys have any suggestions or any meals that you want me to cook um let tyler know <laughs> because we're all out of ideas yeah because that's all we've got they're the only three meals that we cook so that's it no if you if anyone's got any ideas or meals that they love and they want to see us turn into vegetarian or cook out camping any like challenges let us know wait what am i saying to you? why do you need to sit up and you're panicking <laughs> just i'll walk away and then you do a few takes until you're done Cheers, mate. Oh, wow. <laughs> Stabs a hole in the bottom. <laughs> Tonight we're cooking my version of spaghetti bolognese. So we do a vegetarian version. And... <laughs> and what else? Tonight we're doing vegetarian spaghetti bolognese. So, oh, oh no. <laughs> Take three. <laughs> Come, you're chopping up over here. It's a tablespoon, isn't it? I say, tell everyone. Everyone's like, why is she chopping over there? I'm chopping on the tray because the table's not stable. <laughs> Are you alright? It's good to know. <laughs> no one's gonna be like, well, why is she chopping on the tray? <laughs> I need a little bit more wood, so I'm just going to use my ironclad wrench to wear gloves. For the Billy, just make sure you always put on your ironclad gloves. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, good one. Because no other gloves will do the job. <laughs> like ironclad. <laughs> when you're moving garlic bread on, around on the fire, you just use gloves. I normally go with ironclad gloves. We haven't done a formal introduction for Roxy. Oh, wow. This is Roxy. Roxy's a foxy, fox terrier. She's got a jump run now because it's getting a little cold. And she's my dog, or she lives with my parents because I'm not allowed dogs at my house. She's like the family dog. And we got her when she was three years old from just like an ad in the paper. She was a rescue dog. And she had like three previous owners before us. So we rescued her and now she's seven. I think so we've had her for about four years. So what type of dog is she? A fox terrier, Roxy the foxy. Mm. And she's the best dog ever. 